Hey everybody, it's Dana Joy. Welcome back. Today I'm participating in a Catherine Pooler blog hop. I'm so honored to be hanging out with these young ladies today. So let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to be using the Zen Feather stamp set. Absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love this entire stamp set. And I'm also going to be using some of her new inks. Polished Shea Butter and Skylight. Absolutely gorgeous colors. I'm a huge fan of all of her inks, by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Misty and we're gonna go ahead and start making a card. So this is Nina Solar White cardstock and I'm going to use this gorgeous feather out of this stamp set. I'm a huge feather girl. I actually have a tattoo of a feather on my wrist because yeah, that's what moms do when they're challenged by their daughters. I lost the bet and I ended up getting a feather. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and set this down onto the left side of my paper because I'm going to stamp this a couple of times. So I don't want to waste paper here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that onto my misty lid. Now, since that's in place, I want to do a really nice color effect on this. So I'm going to line up my inks on the way I want them to be on my feather. So I'm going to start with this beautiful polished color which is kind of like a beautiful pinky red color. Absolutely love it. And I'm going to grab a baby wipe. It kind of does dash off the harsh line. So my colors blend. Next, I'm going to come in with this beautiful shea butter. Love this color. It's like a really nice soft pink. Now, since I have those two colors blended, I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to take away that harsh line, and then I'm going to come in with the skylight, which is like a teal color, which is my absolute favorite color. I have my stamp room that's color. And now I'm gonna go ahead and swing my lid over just to make sure I have color everywhere on my flower, I mean my feather rather. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow in there and that beautiful shea butter. And I'm not gonna worry about the ink that's on my pad. I can wipe that off a little bit later. Now I think that looks good, but I want to add a little bit more of that uh, skylight color. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and press down with that. And I love the design of this feather. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm going to go ahead and lift up my lid and look how pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp this out. Another time, I'm just going to shift over my paper and then do the same exact thing on uh, a repeated feather. So now since I have that feather down, I'm just going to turn my paper so I can get that feather on the bottom of the paper. Now on this one, I'm going to kind of reverse my colors a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick up that feather off of my misty lid. And now for the top part, I'm actually going to um, start off with the skylight color. So two of my feathers are going to start off with that beautiful polished. And then my last feather is going to actually start off with the skylight color. So now I'm going to go ahead and just clean off. So again, so I don't have that too harsh of a line. And then I'm going to come back in with that beautiful shea butter. Now, if you happen to have the harsh lines, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just try to get three colors in there any way you can. There's no right or wrong way, you guys, when you're doing your crafting. There's no right and wrong way. Just enjoy the experience of it. All right, so now since I have down those three colors, I'm just going to make sure I have all the color where I want it. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that skylight color in there. Now this feather does have more of a symmetrical three lines compared to the other ones. And that's okay because I want this one here to be sitting across the top of the other two feathers. So that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and press that down and then go ahead and lift up my, my misty lid and look how gorgeous that is. All right, so now I have the coordinating die. I'm gonna go ahead and line that up right with my feather, and then I can go ahead and grab myself some washi tape and hold this down into place. Just because I have a magnetic board and sometimes it likes to shift. 
So I'm just going to place down a couple pieces of my washi tape and then I can go ahead and run this through my die cut machine. And I'm going to cut it out three times. So each feather is going to be cut out. Now since I have that done, I'm going to go in and grab that beautiful shea butter and I'm really going to ink up a blending tool. I'm going to get that sponge really, really inked up because this is a brand new sponge and sometimes I quote like to condition my sponges. So it's just easier for me to blend with. So I'm just working in that color and now I just wanna add a little bit of that color behind the feathers and behind the sentiment. I just don't want that area to be white. I just wanted to have a little bit of highlight right behind the feathers and where I wanna place down my sentiment. So I'm just going to go ahead and move everything out of the way and then I'm very, very lightly in just small circular motions going to lay down just a light layer of this shea butter. And that's just going to really bring into a focal point of where my feathers are going to be and just give a little bit more lightness to my card. So I'm not pressing down really, really hard because I don't really want to get those harsh swirl marks. I'm just going very, very lightly in a circular motion, keeping the top of the card and the bottom of the card white. This, like I said, it's just going to give me a nice little highlight for my feathers and my sentiment. It's really, really just a great way to kind of blend everything together. So now I'm going to grab my sentiment. I brought back in my Misty for this and I'm going to use some, um, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. This is the Versifying, rather. And stamp down my sentiment. And I love this sentiment. Spread your wings and fly. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm going to press that down twice because I really want that sentiment to be nice and bold and crisp. That looks fantastic. Now I can go ahead and start putting my card together. So now for the card base, you guys know me. I usually just use a regular white 110 pound Nina Solo White card base. And I'm gonna keep this card really nice and simple because I really want my feathers to be the highlight of this card. So I went ahead and the piece that I'm laying on top is just trimmed down just a little bit to add right to this card base. And now I can go ahead and bring back in those gorgeous feathers. Aren't they beautiful? I love the way they've turned out. Now for two of them, I'm going to go ahead and place those down directly onto the card panel itself. I want those to just be flat onto the card, but for the third one, I do want to add a tad bit of dimension. Look how gorgeous those feathers are, you guys. So much easier to make them very, very colorful for your card and not keep them just monotone or just each feather in just one color. So now to have that dimension on my card, I'm just going to grab some foam tape and I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm just going to trim off just a few pieces so I can pop up that third feather. I like to have odd numbers of um, things onto my card so that's why I, I'm laying down three of the feathers instead of just one or two. So now for this, I'm going to just go ahead and remove the backing of that foam tape. And then I can pop up that third feather right in the middle. And look how gorgeous this card looks. It really lets the feathers and that beautiful sentiment stand out. So I'm just going to make sure those are lined up the way I want them. And then I can go ahead and push that into place. Now to add some finishing touches to this, I'm going to add just a bow, a black bow on the bottom of my feather, just so I can bring in a little more of that black element to tie in with the sentiment. And also just to add just a cute little embellishment. Again, I don't want to go overboard with this card, just a cute little embellishment to finish off my card. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie a bow right at the bottom of this. And look how pretty that looks. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Now I am bow challenged, so I went ahead and tied this off camera. And now all I need to do is to grab my scissors and trim off any of that excess that I have sitting below. I think that looks pretty good. And now I can just go ahead and grab my scissors and trim that off. And again, that ties in that black from the sentiment into the feathers. Love how that turned out. And now I'm just going to place a few of some matte enamel dots just to add a little bit more color to my card. And that is it. My card is totally done. Thank you guys. I hope you like this card. And head on over to the Catherine Pooler blog so you can see all of the cards the lovely design team made for you guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. I will see you guys in another video soon. Take care everybody. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.